Expressions come in many shapes and sizes, but they all do the same thing in helping us to express an idea in the language of math. The three main parts that an expression can have are operators, constants, or variables. Now, an expression can have just one of these, or it may have all three. Let's start by talking about operators. An operator is a symbol that tells us to perform an action. Let's look at the operators that we are most used to seeing. The first one is the plus sign for addition. We're also used to subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. And this is pretty much all you need to know for operators up to this point. So let's move on. And next up, we have constants. A constant is a quantity that cannot change its value. So for instance, if you were born in the year 2004, then that would be a number that will not ever change. Regardless of how long you live, your birth year will always be 2004. So your year of birth is a constant. In fact, any number that we may have seen up until this point would have been a constant. 5 will always be 5, 10 will always be 10, and 6 will always be 6. But just to show you that we can have constants expressed in words, one example would be the number of hours in a day. This is always 24. And the number of days in a week is also constant since it will always be 7. Let's move on to the last bit, and these are variables. Now, unlike a constant, a variable is a quantity that can change its value. So for instance, your age is variable since it will change every year. So if you were 13 this year, the next year you'll be 14 and then 15 and so on. So your age can, and it will change over time. Other examples of variables are the temperature of a room and the amount of money in a bank account. So if we can write everything in words, then why do we use letters? Well, we only use letters because they're faster to write. So for instance, if we wanted to buy three apples, we may write an expression three times the cost of an apple, but we could also shorten this to three times C or three times X or three times just about any other letter if you so desire. It's really only a shorthand. So anytime you see the letter X, don't be too alarmed. It's really nothing special. We just put it on our expressions for any values that we don't know as yet. But we'll talk a lot more about this in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe here if you want to get the latest from the Caribbean Scholar YouTube channel or if you're ready, you can use the link in the description to hop onto our website and sign up for one of our premium courses.